In Psalm 118, verse 1, we read a great verse there, and it says, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. And I've seen that during these past three months since I was diagnosed with leukemia. And I want to thank you for your part in that as you've partnered with us in praying for me and for my family during this time. As I look back, it's really amazing to see what God has done within a couple month period. About the time I was diagnosed, I had lost 40 pounds and I needed help just to be pulled up one stair. But uh, God has worked in amazing ways. And through the first chemo, after the first chemo, the white blood cells had dropped clear down to normal from 550,000 down to about 4,500. The doctor was like practically giddy and said, man, you guys have got to have a lot of people praying for you. This is absolutely amazing. And we said, yeah, you're right. We do have a lot of people praying for us and we wanna praise God. During this time, I've lost a lot of what I valued the most. That is the ability to be involved in strategic, exciting ministry in Bangladesh. God hopefully will give that back to us. We don't know the future. And then I've always been kind of a fitness buff. And to lose all your strength and all your endurance, not be able to jog a step, hardly be able to walk a step, that was tough. But God used it to show me something, and that was, you know, maybe those things are getting a little bit too important. Your identity does not depend on how fast you run, how much you lift, or the job that you're involved in. Your identity is based on the fact that you're my child. And that is enough. And as long as you have me, you truly, as in Psalm 23, do not lack anything. Now, it doesn't mean it's easy. It's really hard. In Hebrews 12, we read, discipline is always painful. No discipline is pleasant at the time, but it produces a harvest of righteousness for those who undergo it. And that's my prayer that God will just use this time in my life to build me into being more and more the person that he wants me to be, to get rid of some of those idols that might have been holding me back, maybe too much of an emphasis on job performance, maybe too much of an emphasis on physical performance. I believe that God has and will continue to bring good out of this. In Psalm 118, we read, I will not die, but live. And I will proclaim all that you have done for me. And so that's what I want to do. I really feel that God has given me that promise that I'm going to live at least for a while. <laughs> and that means an opportunity to proclaim his name. I don't know how long God's promise to me that I will live and proclaim his name here will stand. Once you have CLL, you've got it for life, for however long that means. It might mean decades, and it might not, but that's okay. Because as Paul said, hey, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. So either way is not a major problem. Really what we've got to see is our goal is not to beat cancer. We've got to see the cancer or whatever suffering we're going through as a tool that God is using to work in our lives. The goal is to beat the sin nature, to work with God and see self defeated so that we can really live the life of Christ. So God's going to take what gets in the way give us himself and allow us to live the life of Christ. And that's why the psalmist can say, hey, it was good that I was afflicted. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I focus on you. I'm not the only one going through suffering. Probably a lot of you are going through a lot more than I am. But I hope all of us 
can learn from this, that God is doing good. He's working in our lives for our good and for his glory. And so all of us can say together, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever.